Plywood is a wood-based finished product that forms an integral part of some modern-day furniture today. Plywood is a wood-based panel product made up of a combination of veneers and resin brought together by glue. Generally, to manufacture plywood boards, wood logs are sliced into veneers, which are layered in glue. Veneers are thin layers of wood. Each layer is arranged such that the grain direction of each veneer is perpendicular to its adjacent veneer. These layers are then pressed together, trimmed, and sanded. This is just a blurry and brief overview of the manufacturing process of plywood boards. There is a lot more to the manufacturing process of plywood boards. We're going to cover this in depth today. So, here are the 15 satisfying manufacturing processes of plywood boards, along with exposure to some of the best machines for the process. Number 15. Manufacturing plywood boards. The birth of plywood. The history of plywood boards can be equated to the history of our contemporary world. Even though the technique of plywood making dates back to as early as 2600 BC in ancient Egypt, the idea behind plywood boards exemplifies the modern world. Plywood boards combine lightness, strength, and flexibility in their structures. This can be mirrored through the fascinating records of social, technological, and infrastructural changes over the past 200 years. Ever since plywood has been evolving and developing to what we know today, the birth of modern plywood could be traced to a guy named John K. Mayo, who was granted the first patent for what could be called plywood today. Mayo's plywood patent was reissued on August the 18th, 1868, and his development is described as follows. Consisting of glue or otherwise fastening together a number of these scales with the grain of successive sheets, or some of them, crossed or different from others. Plywood then and now. The process of manufacturing plywood boards is virtually the same in the mid-20th century and now. The major difference is that technology has evolved and we now have highly efficient and computerized machines that make plywood manufacturing process easier and faster. In the early 1800s, steam-powered machines were majorly used in the veneer cutting processes. The rotary veneer cutter was popular back then, but now, in our contemporary world, technology has developed high-end machines, guillotines, to do veneer cuttings, sealing, and packaging. The manual and crude nature of plywood processing back then is what makes the major difference now. Now, there are digital and environmental-friendly machines that do the work. That being said, let's do a quick run-through of plywood manufacturing processes. Number 1. Tree Logging This is the very first process of manufacturing plywood boards in tree felling or logging. Not all kinds of trees can be used to manufacture quality plywood boards. Manufacturers select certain trees like white oak and the like to make plywood boards. When these trees mature to the required level, they are cut using satellite imagery. Number 2. Log Ponding After these trees have been transported to the sawmill, they go through the ponding process. This is where tree logs are stored in water ponds to absorb and retain moisture. This process makes the wood cutting easier. It especially improves the bark peeling. Number 3. Debarking and Logging After the ponding process, the wood logs are debarked. The outer layer, the skin of the logs, are peeled using industrial machines. After a thorough debarking process, the trees are then cut into different uniform sizes. Number 4. Log Peeling Here, tree logs are peeled using a rotary lathe. This process peels the tree logs like that of a pencil sharpener, except the blade is completely parallel to the log at the time of the cutting. Number 5. Grading and Sizing After the logs have been peeled, it is time to cut and grade them into different sizes. Grading is especially important to check for defects in the veneers. The grading process also involves the separation of face veneers from the core ones. Number 6. After all these processes, the veneers are still wet from being soaked in the pond. They are then dried to prevent decay and fungal infections. Number 7. After drying, defects on the veneers are then repaired. Here, Industrial machines are used to check for holes and knots in the plywood boards before the final processes. Number 8. After checking and repairing defects, 
the veneers are then glued together. Thereafter, cold and hot pressing is done to improve the adhesiveness of the glue. Number 9. Trimming, sanding and finishing are then done to ensure square edges and quality outlook. After this, quality control is done to determine the quality of each board before packaging. Number 14. Automatic plywood veneer peeling machine. Gone are the days when the veneers are peeled using steam-powered engines. Veneer peeling is now done with automated high-tech machines. There are many automatic plywood veneer peeling machines around today. The Nouveau Tipo, Jinlun plywood peeling and cutting machine, and the Rotary veneer cutting machine is prominent among these machines. Let's briefly examine the Nouveau Tipo product. Nouveau Tipo Automatic CNC Control 130mm Veneer Peeling Lathe. This product works perfectly for spineless veneer peeling processes. It is suitable for high quality finished lathe cutting. It processes wood cores into fine finished veneers and it can also be used to cut smaller diameter wood 30mm into veneer. Maximum length of 1300mm. Maximum diameter 500mm. Mini residual log diameter 28 mm. Veneer thickness 0.5 to 3.6 mm. Peeling speed 45 to 65 meters per minute. Power 21.5 kilowatts. Overall size 2800 by 2100 by 1350 mm. And a weight of 3,500 kilos. Automatic veneer peeling machines make wood processing processes easier and more effective. The surface of the boards is smoother and younger than the specified structure of plywood boards. Unlike steam-powered machines, the operation of these automatic machines is stable and later longer. You get to save more timber from wastage and also get less error-prone output. Number 13. Norwood Lumber Pro HD36 Portable Band Sawmill Wood logging is the first process of manufacturing plywood boards, and this Norwood product is a top option for wood logging and its hydraulic processes. The HD36 V2 product is designed to handle the toughest of wood logging processes. The machine is a full hydraulic powerhouse. To get the best of this product, engage the hydraulic log handling, power saw head, or power feed. This product gives you virtually everything an industrial sawmill will give you. The Norwood Lumber Pro HD36 Portable Band Sawmill is a powerhouse for loading, clamping and rolling logs of all kinds. The product has a standard manual band and a fully hydraulic band with optional attachments. Here is the highlight of this machine's features. Sawmill type, band manual, band fully hydraulic, Convertible to hydraulic anytime with optional adjustments. Log diameter 92 cm. Width of cut 79 cm. Board width 76 cm and 71 cm in hydraulic configuration. Bed length 4.8 m. Log length 4 m. 1.2 m extended length 0.6 m log deck extensions. Number 12. Wiesa Plywood Process Wiesa Plywood is none of the popular birch plywood brands around today. If you never knew, birch plywood is used where special strength and or a hard and smooth surface is required. Wiesa also does spruce plywood. This type of plywood is softer and lightweight compared to birch plywood. It is widely used in many construction processes. Wiesa uses coatings, CNC machining, and cutting to size processes to manufacture ready to install plywood. Coatings improve the overall resistance of plywood to harsh weather, chemicals, and wear. There are also films and lamination processes with various patterns to improve the frictional surface of the plywood. Plywood production processes vary according to the particular sawmill and the end use. At Wiesa, the plywood production process is as follows. First, the logs are soaked in a water pond to absorb moisture and ease the debarking process. After this, the logs are then debarked and scanned for cross-cutting. This process is followed by the peeling of the logs and drying. The logs which have now been peeled into veneers are now graded in size. Therefore, 
different layers of veneers are glued together and pressed through hot and cold pressing. The final stages of processing are nowhere. Here, the glued veneers are sawed, trimmed, and sanded before a final gluing process. To check for final flaws, the veneers are scarf jointed, filled, and patched for any holes and knots. Finally, the finished veneers are then coated and smoothed before an edge sealing. With all processes complete, the plywood is now packaged for sale. Number 11. Automatic Sawmill Machines The importance of automatic sawmill machines cannot be overemphasized, especially now that there is an increase in the demand for plywood boards. The sawmill has shifted focus to automated production, which is why automated machines do most of the work in the manufacturing processes of plywood boards. In sawmills, machines are controlled by other machines. The system is automated to make every process easier and more effective. For instance, a machine is installed to control the live deck and stop and loader, so that the logs move towards the carriage automatically, replacing the man who pushed the buttons. There are stationary and mobile or portable types of sawmills. It all depends on the mode of production. Prominent among these machines are the products of the biomass sawmill and AG machinery. Number 10. Plywood Manufacturing Processes We've exposed ourselves to the basics of the plywood manufacturing processes earlier on, but now let me take you through the main steps of the plywood manufacturing process. There are six major processes in plywood manufacturing, and they are a selection of log, layer formation, exposure to heat, going, baking, and finishing. Log selection. This is the most basic step. Here, particular trees are selected to be logged. The most suitable trees for plywood boards are referred to as peelers. This type of tree has a straight shape and a good diameter. The best type of keepers are ash, luan, gurjan, and white oak trees. Layer formation. There is a large blade used for the processing of tree logs into thin tree layers known as veneers. Many layers of veneers are produced to be glued together, drying and gluing. The veneers are then glued together after drying to remove every bit of moisture. Baking and finishing. The glued sets of veneers are now sent for heating and pressing at a particular temperature. The minimum temperature is 140 degrees and the minimum pressure is 1.9 megapascal. After this, finishing takes place. Here, holes, knots, pits, and all kinds of reshaping and residing are done before packaging. Number 9. Norwood Lumbermax HD38 Mega Sawmill This Norwood product is designed to give you the best of wood logging results under the harshest conditions. It can work under conditions that other sawmills can't. You could use this sawmill in the manual or hydraulic configuration. This sawmill is the world's only Omega deep throat sawhead. It can produce oversized means up to 14 inches in depth, as it has a patented Omega sawhead build, which gives the most efficient and deep cutting results. This sawmill also incorporates the patented laminated sawhead technology, known for delivering superior rigidity and easy blade tension functioning. With this product, you could also attain amazing dimensions in wood logging. You could do this by lowering the band wheels relative to the drivetrain to give you extra power. What is a world-class mega sawmill without the power to handle extreme load levels? This Norwood mega sawmill has dual cast aluminum rigid core frames engineered to handle extreme load levels. You do not have to worry about the mass of the log, you are well covered. Among the most impressive features of this product is the 4-axis micro-adjust guides and the wide slab capacity. If you prioritize all-out power and functionality, you could go for this product to execute all your wood cutting and transport processes. Number 8. Route Veneer Peeling Line R7 Hybrid Machine This product is another high-tech peeling machine that can be employed in the efficient peeling of logs into veneers. Let's briefly look at the technology and benefits of this hybrid machine. This machine consists of heavy construction frame structures with high-quality components that facilitate one-person operation. It is spot-on for logs, in-fit, and rounding of logs with easy-to-use controls. This product has a maximum lock diameter of 500mm for 8-foot and 450mm for 4-foot. 
This machine can be used for all small log peeling production. This hybrid machine can increase your production capacity with its unique server control pitch angles and compression control during peeling. This gives you a fine output of the best quality veneer and accurate veneer thickness tolerance. With the optimum peeling geometry technology of this hybrid machine, it enables the block rotation center control, which results in even thickness variation compared with conventional spindle lathes from start to core diameter. This is one product you can rely on for high quality peeling finishes. Number 7. Ledinec Coles BSH KVH Ledinec Coles is a company in Slovenia that is heavily invested in the industrial production of plywood boards. So, if you're looking to go into the plywood business, they are a great partnership option as they produce some high-quality plywood boards. There are four companies under the Ledinec trademark. Ledinec Engineering DOO, Leicester Ledinec DOO, Ledinec Maschinen und Anlagen GmbH, and Ledinec Tech Virtuens GmbH. The Ledinec companies have professionals with a high level of multidisciplinary skills and knowledge, together with a great, ingenious skill set. They are experts in the complex processes of massive wood planing and profiling, finger jointing, and engineered timber. Their plywood board processing techniques are innovative, durable, and powerful. Number 6. Handmade Wood Veneer Peeling Machine A handmade wood veneer peeling machine is an alternative to an automatic wood veneer peeling machine. Both work virtually the same way, only that you'd have to manually engage some settings for particular peeling outputs. For handmade wood veneer peeling machines, you have to separate the veneers as they are being peeled from the log. You'd have to disengage the machine after each peeling. Handmade wood veneer peeling machines are usually without wood clips, and they are mostly suitable for small diameter wood. The veneer peeling machines without wood clip has rollers at both front and rear sides, with the force from motors. The wood inside will be peeled layer by layer. It's high efficiency and high precision wood peeling equipment. The remaining waist diameter is less than 1 cm, and the linear peeling speed can reach 150 meters per minute, and a thickness error of plus or minus 0.1 mm, width error of plus or minus 2 mm. When wood is loaded, the machine starts running, and the PLC and GD35 drive will detect signals and calculate quickly, and make sure the last sheet is a complete and qualified one. PLC is the head for signal detection and command distribution. HMI is used for parameter settings and display. The roller shaft holds the wood and makes it rotate. The feeder roller steps forward according to the calculated curve and makes sure of even veneer thickness. A rubber roller is used for transporting wood sheets. Cutter is used for cutting the wood sheets at length. Number 5. USNR Veneer Plywood Machine If you are not new to the wood processing industry, the name USNR should ring a major bell. USNR is the world's largest, most comprehensive supplier of equipment and technologies for the wood processing industry. USNR produces dimensional lumber, plywood and panels, finger-jointed components and engineered wood products. USNR also supplies systems, services, and support for major wood plants around the globe, which is why their veneer plywood machine is generally considered one of the best in the wood manufacturing industry. The USNR veneer plywood machine is fully automated with a world-class lathe system, veneer drying system, plywood press system, and plywood packaging system. This machine saves you every bit of manual work, you get to sit back and watch all work being done effectively and efficiently. Number 4. Wood Turning – The U-Root Let's get ourselves acquainted with the term wood turning. Wood turning is the process of using tools to cut and mold shapes onto wood while it turns on an axis of rotation. The tool used for wood turning is called a wood lathe. This tool is used to sand, cut, knurl, face, turn, drill and deform wood. For every shaped wooden structure you see, wood turning processes have occurred. It is with wood turning that we can have items such as lamp holders, egg cups, chess pieces, or any wooden piece molded into a form. There are six popular wood turning techniques. Spindle turning, decorative spindle turning, 
baseplate turning, segmented turning, bowl turning, and eccentric turning. The U-root is the favorite wood used in wood turning. What makes it the favorite mold? U-wood is obtained from the trees of the Taxus genus. These trees have warm red or orange colors with unpredictable grain lines, which is why they are best suited for design imprints and shaping. Number 3. Wooden Bed Making From finished plywood boards, you could make a wooden bed frame of your suited specification. It is not a hard project. It is just one that requires attention to detail. Make sure you use the best plywood boards to ensure a high-quality, high-end product. Also, you have to get your materials all set. Crews, glue, measuring tapes, saws and others. Also, make sure you use quality edge-glued panels to enhance the cost-benefit ratio. Glue-edged panels are very resistant and beautifully finished, so you won't have to use sanding paper or an orbital sander to get a proper finish. In cutting the wooden boards, you need a jigsaw with a sharp and fine blade for wood, two C-clamps, and another wood board with a straight edge. Make sure you cut the edges according to your specified parameters. Also, make sure you screw all edges tightly to avoid structure collapse. Number 2. Frontier OS27 Sawmill The Frontier OS27 Sawmill is another household name when it comes to portable sawmills. This high-tech product is reliable, with super horsepower to serve all your plywood board manufacturing needs. With incredible horsepower, you can carry on any wood logging and processing job with greater log capacity and an electric start option. The Frontier OS27 sawmill has infinitely variable depth adjustments. This machine comes with a maximum log diameter of 69 centimeters and a maximum width of 56 centimeters. The bed length of this sawmill is 4.1 meters and 3.5 meters inboard length. For deep wide cutting, it has a 144 inch blade length. How is it possible that this machine carries out its work with such great efficiency? The horsepower? The horsepower of the machine is 13.5 and it comes with an electric start Briggs. The carriage configuration of this sawmill is a rigid four post with laminated lower frames. The depth of cut scale of this machine is 2 inches, 1 inch, 9 eighths of an inch, 1 and a half inches and 3 quarters of an inch. This machine has all it takes to serve your all-purpose wood manufacturing needs. It is fully fitted with a complete automated build. Number 1. Garnica Plywood Manufacturing Process Garnica is another respected name in the plywood industry. The Garnica brand produces high-quality plywood boards for different types of purposes. Let's take a brief look at their production process. The plywood manufacturing process at Garnica is not the conventional one, which is why they come up with some of the best end products. Here, the production process starts with forest management and care for selected plywood trees. Oh wow! This way every form of deforestation is avoided. How exactly does Garnica come up with their world-class standard plywood panels? Step 1. Cutting to drying. The first step is cutting the particular trees, mostly poplar trees that have been nurtured for 15 years and classified according to their quality. After cutting, the trees are cleaned and their byproducts are used as biomass or for other industries. The next process is bark stripping. This is where the outer layer of the tree is removed. Therefore, each tree log is cut into thin layers called veneers. These veneers are classified with automatic systems of visual control, which also allows for the optimization of each log. This process is called unrolling at Garnica. The last process here is drying. Here, the wet and still green veneers are stripped of their moisture content through hygrometric control systems. Step 2. Creating the panel. This is the finishing part of the Garnica plywood manufacturing process. Herein, the forming and pressing, sizing and sanding, value-added finishing and packaging is done. Forming and pressing. After drying to remove moisture, it is now time to glue the veneers together and form the first piece of the plywood panel. Garnica plywood panels have a custom number of thin, single-piece veneers placed in opposite directions so that the fibre is crossed between one veneer and the next. 
it is through this process that Garnica gets its high quality, uniformity and strength in plywood boards. This process combines automated processes with human supervision, which intervenes to repair any defects. Sizing and sanding. Here, the raw plywood panel is sanded and shaped into fine squares to get a final dimension in length, width and thickness. This also gives the Garnica plywood boards their unique smooth surface quality. Quality finishes. After sizing and sanding, premium finishes like primer, HOL, COL laminate, or UV varnish are usually added to enhance the appearance of the plywood boards. Are there any other plywood board manufacturing processes and machines that you feel should have made the list? Leave a comment in the comment section. Make sure you like this video and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay updated as each new video drops. Until next time.